Hi everyone! For the longest time, many of us have been wondering who's hiding behind Kakashi's mask, but for some reason, only a few people question why he wore the mask in the first place. You would think he was born with it because he's always worn it since he was little. I'm sure that many of you would like to know the real reason why Kakashi's been hiding his face for such a long time. I mean, even when he goes to the bathroom, his face stays covered. Watch the video, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. If we go back to Kakashi's childhood, we see that he wore the mask even when his father was alive, and he was a very unsocial boy. There is never a scene to show us when he started wearing it. And to be honest, you must have a powerful reason to wear the mask for 47 years, even when you are at hot springs or the bathroom. Speaking of his fan Huki, who attended the same academy as Boruto, we know that he started wearing his mask in honor of the 6th Hokage since Huki was his biggest fan. For some time, we even thought that he was his son. Well, why not? Looking at his face, he could be Kakashi's son or even Yamato's. He has some resemblance, doesn't he? Unlike Huki, I think that Kakashi's reason was completely different, and we're going to review several possible causes that may help us solve this mystery. The most prevalent person is that he wore the mask because of the Anbu organization. It could make sense, but this theory becomes useless right when we return to his childhood. Also, the Anbu usually use another type of mask, and even then, Kakashi wore it without taking off his own. The second, no less exciting version, points to the past of his father. As everyone knows, Sakuma was a legendary shinobi who even managed to kill Sasori's parents. According to the information, his strength was compared to three legendary Sanins, but one time, because of the refusal to complete the most critical mission for Konoha for the sake of saving his friends, it completely destroyed his name. After these events, Kakashi started wearing the mask to hide the shame of being the biggest traitor's son, who broke the rules because of his friend. The mask was a shield from foolish people's eyes, who could easily outcast him and make fun of him. You could say that this mask was useful to him in the future because as he got older, he looked a lot like his father, and people could easily mistake him for his dad. A bright example was Kakashi's trip to the Sand Village, where he met the Chi Granny. We can assume that it was a tradition for the Hataki clan. Usually, when the child grows up, he's allowed to take his mask off, but his father's death didn't allow him to remove it because of the fear of being judged. After the release of the 672 chapter of Naruto manga, we saw Kakashi, Sakumo, Gai, and his father. We could see that Kakashi wore his mask even before Sakumo has died. It breaks the theory of him wearing the mask because of his father. Although, as I mentioned before, it's possible that he didn't wear the mask at all times, but after Sakumo's death, it became his primary shield from his father's resemblance. One time, Kakashi has admitted he never takes off his mask because he wants to hide the fountain of blood from his nose during obscene moments. It often happens with perverts. Apparently, he realized in his childhood that he was a sucker for these moments and decided to play it safe by wearing a mask. Now it explains why he was the main fan of the old hermit's book, Come, Come, My Paradise. If I explain this topic from the author's perspective, everything will fall in its place. In one of the interviews, Kishimoto said that he saw ninjas as mysterious and secretive people. Therefore, in his design of heroes, Kakashi was the first one on whom he decided to place the mask. But in the work process, he had to abandon this idea since it's tough to see the facial expression because of the mask. Kishimoto's response was somewhat vague but logical, since it clearly explains Kakashi's design's uniqueness. Here's what he said. It's quite difficult to show a person's emotions if you don't see their face. It's not what I expected, but I'm happy with the results. Oh, he's happy alright, 
and during this time, he managed to troll us with this repeatedly. In the 469 series, Shippuden shows us that Naruto was always curious about Sensei's face. At that time, an unfamiliar ninja appears in his path, whose name was Tsukiya. I think it's time to write down some names. Anyway, Tsukiya suggests looking for Kakashi's facial photo in Ninja's registration records. He says that he can help them in exchange for a big story if he can get it published in the mass media. They are able to break into a secret document storage facility, and when they are about to uncover Kakashi's photograph, they get caught by Anbu security guards. But they have a plan number two. Tsukiya suggests to try and take a photo of Kakashi during his lunch. As expected, the trolling is continued. In the end, a team of seven gather the rest of their friends and plan the final attempt. But they failed here as well because they found out that Kakashi is actually the Tsukiya. <sighs> In Boruto anime, Kakashi removed his mask sometimes and turned into Tsukiya. And Guy nearly revealed his secret one time. <laughs> now, there is a theory about who his mother was. Supposedly, she was from Inuzuka clan, and that's why Kakashi is able to call the dogs and has a strong sense of smell. Although some people think that ability to call dogs was passed to him by his father, which is very strange. Hatake clan didn't have any special abilities or secret techniques, only one exceptional tactic and strategy talents on the battlefield. But they had one relic in the form of a white sword. Sakumo always used it, and that's why they called him the White Fang of Konoha. The most interesting thing about this is that Kakashi could have gone through the dark path, but he chose to smile instead. No, no. 